All right, guys, in this video, we're gonna go through how to create the, the nose in a low poly style. So the last thing we did was, was the lips. And first, I'm gonna start off by showing you guys some inspiration for that. Now, you've seen my, my, my Pinterest board before. You've seen it for the eyes, the lips. Now, when it comes to, to the nose, there's a few different styles out there. The one that, that we're continuing on is very similar to, to how we did the the lips and the eyes but it's going to be a little bit different the thing about the nose and what makes it a little bit complicated is that it's part of the skin there is no specific start or stop when it comes to the nose because it blends in from one to the other but take a look the most important parts are the nostrils right and then there's one side usually that gets like that harder line the rest kind of like blends into the shape itself let me see if i pull up another nose that sticks out um, actually this one, you can see this has the more harder line where this part just blends in and it's usually where, where the light hits it or where there's a strong shadow. And let me see. Yeah, there's a lot of other examples, but let, let's start on our portrait now. Going back to Illustrator. All right, so the first thing that I see there that's a solid, solid image, and of course, you know, go to Window, Workspace, Reset Essentials, Classic, all that so that we're looking at it in the same way. Um, all of these things, all of these layers just locked except for the artwork layer. Make sure you're working in the artwork layer. But the one thing that I see about the nose is the nostril. That's the one thing that's like very defined. So I could come around there and I could start there. Again, only creating straight lines come in here and I'm going to divide this later you can see it right there I'm going to divide that between medium and dark coming around here sure that's one nostril and then escape to go to the next one there you go and for me, I know that the, the side that, that seems the strongest and that doesn't blend in as much to the skin around it is this side, my, my right side, and I guess the screen left side, but this one right here. You can tell that this one blends right into the nose. There is no hard line as to like where that's going. So I'm gonna create a line to outline this part of the nose right here. And each one of your pictures is gonna be different, obviously, but you can have that shape in the same side or have it in, a, in the opposite side. And again, for me, it's on the left right here, so that's where I'm creating that harder line. You can see that I did some of that when I did the, the eye. I needed that just to create the, the eyelid on there. Now, I have this part. Now, I know that this part right here comes up, so I'm gonna create a shape right here to break this apart. Here and here. And then I know the same thing happens right here in between the two nostrils. So I'm bringing it right here. Now I could start making some of the shapes now. There is this V shape. Let me see right here, maybe. Hit escape. And then I know this nostril right here. There you go. If you hide the photo, you should be able to see. Ooh, those are big nostrils. <laughs> I guess from, from the angle, it's making it look very, very big. Now, there is the little part right here that most people have. I'll show you what it usually looks like. Might be something like this. Right? But obviously, for mine, you can't see that because of the mustache. So I'm not going to do that that part but when it comes to, to this right here now I want to create shapes that separate the difference between light medium and dark and I'm gonna start with the shapes that I've already created so the first shape that I've created that I want to change is this nostril right here and I want to divide this into light medium and dark there you go uh, the same thing with this one but it's not that evident right there um, I could see a difference right here but 
Let me see. I'll, I'll separate this. This here. Hit escape. Uh, this right here. Um, this right here. No. Actually, you saw how how that shape connected to that, that's gonna make it look like it's part of the inside part of the nostril, which I actually don't want. So I wanna make sure that that doesn't connect. There you go. I could create one more shape right here. There you go. And now this part right here. See the difference between that color and this color, boom. Now you could create this similar to, to the banana. I know I use that example a lot, but it, it's an example that, that tends to work. Um, this could be its own shape, but of course you have to leave it loose at the top just because it's not going to be broken down completely. So breaking this up right here, breaking this up right here. And now I can see there's a difference between this medium right here and this light. So I'm going to go all the way up. Nope, I connected that shape. Here you go. Here, 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 here. OK. And now I could break this up as well. So just know, like, the nose rounds out and then flattens out, comes back up here. So. When I'm doing this, these lines that I'm separating this shape into, or the shapes that I'm separating that one shape into right there with those lines, I'm trying to do it so that it mimics that look, the look of roundedness going up. And in reality, it would be like this, and then like this, right? But I'm not going to draw that, that specific of a line right there. Just separating this. And some of this is trial and error. Some of this is like, hey, like I've, I've done this a few times, so I understand like what it will produce or what it's going to look like if I do these kind of lines. Um, let's see. Right over here, I'm going to create a shape. So you can see that line right there. Great. And there is no like start or stop with this part of the nose. The left side, yeah, there's that harder line right there. But with this one, my shapes are going to come a little bit short, a little bit longer, and then I'm just going to be dividing those into the part of the skin. Move it up with the arrow right there. Let's see. This part. So this would be the, the bridge of the nose, the center part right there. I'm going to be creating a little bit of a different look right here. Hopefully it won't look too weird. But these are more like the flatter sections of it. There you go. And I know this part kind of curves that way, so I curve that that way. This part I can do, which is the eyelid. Um, yeah, the only reason I did that is because this part's going to run right into it. So here there is a little bit of a difference right here with shading. Nope. And I'm trying not to connect those shapes. Let me see. Maybe I'll do a little bit more on the top. Divide this. Let me hide my image. Yeah, you can see it's starting to to round out. This part of the bottom, maybe I shouldn't have, have closed it out like that. If you don't see the, the actual mustache, it's going to look a little bit weird, but it shouldn't look like the nose could just be pulled off. 
right? Like a Mr. P Potato Head nose. Like some of these things you might want to blend in as well, like the middle part. But because I have the, the mustache, once I add that, it's going to look more, more finished. But for you guys, that might be the, the case. You might have to have this a little bit more open, which would mean the shapes over here don't just close out. They continue into the skin. Same thing down here. This would just continue right into the skin. All right. I hope this helps. Enjoy.